Good morning, children. We begin with the portion of periodic two. A few chapters at the beginning of the session had been cancelled. Periodic two's portion of the main reader includes unit seven and unit eight. Unit seven includes the invention of Wittewonk, and Dad and the Cat and the Tree both have been cancelled. So I start off with you with chapter number unit number eight, the prose part of it, fire, friend and foe. Fire, an element of nature, accidentally discovered by the people when the lightning struck. You know the story of fire when the lightning struck. Suddenly it ignited the fire on the ground wherever it was dry, and then we discovered oh fire could be even created by rubbing two flint stones hard against each other. Now in this title, it suggests that fire is both a friend and a foe. Foe is enemy, a friend of the humankind. as well as an enemy of the human kind or i would say its advantages also and its disadvantages also that's why it has been given the term the friend as well as the foe in what aspects is it the friend and in what aspects is it the enemy let us see by reading the chapter i request you to read every part of the textbook as i complete that part of the explanation of the text so page number 114 we begin with fire friend and foe fire is both useful and dangerous what is fire how did we discover it how do we control it i have already said how did you how did you discover it controlling fire the element which is the opposite of fire is water so we can sprinkle water that's the easiest way to put off fire but in this chapter we'll be seeing how to control fire and what other ways can fire be controlled when it goes out of control let's see early man didn't know what fire was but he must have seen the damage it could cause he must have watched lightning and volcanoes long before he began to use fire himself when a volcano erupts it releases hot molten magma its temperature is too high so whatever it comes in contact with it starts burning it to ashes lightning what a bijli girna please two words in english you need to take care of most of them Uh, swap these words which are different from each other. Here it is, lightning. Okay, L I G H T N I N G. Lightning means जो बिजली गिरती है, when two clouds, the friction of two clouds releases the energy, then it causes a lightning. Now, if you light a deer, it's called lightning. Okay, deer will come, not lightning. so please the e makes a very vast difference so be cautious with your word fire was powerful and dangerous and he was frightened fire may have puzzled early man but we now know that fire is the result of a chemical reaction when the oxygen in the air combines with carbon de carbon and hydrogen in a fuel a chemical reaction takes place now that there comes a chemistry kind of a definition for fire so basic things required for a fire to ignite is the presence of a very important gas without which fire won't ignite is oxygen now whatever is burning it needs to have the compounds of hydrogen in it and carbon in it for it to start burning so that's the logic which has been given in the terms of chemistry over energy in the form of heat and light is released in this process when all these things react so they release energy in the form of heat as well as light this is what we call fire this is what we call fire din three things are needed to make fire fuel oxygen and heat 
so you must you must be thinking why heat if you go to cold places sub zero level temperatures and you try to ignite fire it won't with great difficulty it will when you rub rigorously whatever you are trying to make fire with it is very very difficult because the temperature when it is low it will not allow the fire to ignite or spread so you need a fuel which comprises of hydrogen and carbon elements and then you need uh, what what was it the second one the oxygen gas and then the heat element of the nature also it was too pro, cold it won't wood coal cooking gas and petrol are examples of fuel so what all can you burn you can burn burn wood you can burn coal you can burn cooking gas which is lpg and petrol are examples of fuel oxygen comes from the air so you must in uh, science also you had uh, been taught this activity when a lamp or a uh, candle is burning if uh, you keep upside down tumbler on it matlab glass dal do ab usko ulta glass rakh do ke uske upar you cut off the oxygen supply the candle will stop burning so that proves that it needs oxygen to burn that is why when you blow on smoldering paper it often bursts into flame smoldering paper is one kind of a paper when you blow on it it starts burning rapidly because of the oxygen present around the third thing needed to make fire is heat fuel and oxygen do not make fire by themselves or else a newspaper on a stick lying in the open would catch fire on its own obviously if you don't have that heat element in it anything would anything lying on the road if it's a fuel it would start catching fire to burn a piece of to burn a piece of paper or wood we need heat we need we heat it before it catches fire if uh, i don't know whether in your house it's done or not like certain people find it very fancy during winters ki angheti jalate hain so they gather wood and they gather coal and then they burn and keep it in the room so that the room becomes warm agar kachchi lakdi hoti hai aur moisture filled coal is there it won't definitely definitely won't burn at all that heat element is missing over there we generally do it with a lighted match the match is the match stick and then it has got a kind of a um, element on the top brown color one Now what we do because of friction we rub like the we rub it against the match box's outer edge and then because of that friction it ignites the fire actually it's the heat which leads to the ignition of the fire every fuel has a particular temperature at which it begins to burn every fuel just name it and everything has got a temperature only when it it reaches that particular temperature would you see that it starts burning before that it won't burn this temperature is called the flash point or kindling temperature of the fuel so two names given over here the flash point of it or the kindling temperature of the fuel at when the when it reaches that particular temperature the fire ignites and it starts burning it is sometimes said that fire is a good servant but a very bad master good servant as in if it is if you are using fire in its limitation in a very withdrawn form in limited form if you are using then definitely it will serve you the right purpose ab apko khana banana hai okay what do i do garam tel mein if i go and pour water the whole thing will catch fire but if i have to make pakoras what will i do i will ignite that particular oil its temperature i will control and then what will i do at the control temperature i will make the thing which is required by me so in this case if i don't control it it becomes a very bad master and if i control it it's a good servant it only means that fire is a very use is very useful as long as it is kept under control for instance we use it to cook our food warm our homes in winter and to generate electricity how do we generate electricity electricity the heat of it heat element of it we take and then convert it into electrical energy 
But on the other hand, if fire gets out of control, it can be very dangerous. Each year thousands of homes and shops are damaged by fire. An electric circuit, if it catches fire or there's loose connection, the entire building or the shop, everything catches fire. The accidents which happen on a daily basis, where you see that there was loose connection in the wiring over there in the shop or at home and the whole thing got fire. Vast areas of fire, forests are also destroyed and hundreds of people are killed or injured. If you have the seen forest fires, they are very, very scary, very scary I am telling you because forest, the base of the forest is covered with the dead leaves, the straw, the, the twigs, all dry elements are there on the base of the forest. And supposedly you leave a, like the certain, most of the fire, uh, forest fires are caused by humans only. So like if I throw a lit cigarette out of my car and uh, that goes and falls on a twig and it catches fire, imagine the extent of that fire, where till where all can it get extended. We have nowadays also in the news also flashing that we, we can see those forest fires. I have been a witness to the forest fires in Uttarakhand and those are hilly areas. And if the fire catches over there, imagine this is the slope and here is the road because the roads go winding path like this, a circular path which leads you from one mountain to the other. Now Siddhi, the slopes are like this and the roads are all around the mountain we travel. Now if the slope is like this and the, if this thing catches fire, not only is it burning the base of the forest, it is also burning the trunk of the trees. Because the trunk of the tree is dry, like the bark of it is dry, the in, the innermost part must be a little, it, it, it will have moisture but the extent of fire, the uh, temperature of fire would be so high at that time that it would burn that part also and uh, this would fall on roads. Now those barks of the trees and the trunks of the trees would come sliding down the slopes on the roads. Very, very risky to drive when there is a forest fire and you are on a mountain. Until and unless it is raining, that fire cannot be stopped. So either helicopters would come and pour tons and gallons of water over there. But if until and unless there is rain, naturally if there is rain, that is the only way it can be stopped. Just as three things are needed to start a fire, there are three main ways in which a fire can be put out. In each one of the three things needed for burning is taken away. Now three things I told you what are needed for making fire is are you need, you need fuel, you need oxygen and you need heat. So these three things are needed to make the fire and to control fire also one of the three things needs to be pulled out. Okay, either the fuel has to be pulled out, either the heat element has to be pulled out or either the oxygen element has to be pulled out to put out the fire. Put out the fire means aapko bujhana. So I will stop over here. I have taught you two pages. Read the chapter well. Do not make the same mistakes what you have done in your uh, term 1 because this portion will be included in the coming exam. So see to it that you read well, understand well. Thank you dear.